If anyone were to ask me what my favorite webcomic of all time is, my answer would be Cucumber Quest, which is written and illustrated by an artist named GGDG. I'm not going to call it the best webcomic of all time, because I'm sure that a lot of people have their own opinions on what the best webcomic is, but Cucumber Quest is definitely up there, and this video is about why you should read it. Okay, so imagine if the art style of Rosalina's chapter books from Super Mario Galaxy was combined with Paper Mario, The Wizard of Oz, Candyland, the Earthbound series, Kirby, and Sailor Moon. And then if that combination was turned into its own video game, and then if that video game was made into a comic strip. And that's essentially how I would describe Cucumber Quest in a single sentence. It's not an internet comic about a bunch of boring white guys who play video games and think that they understand comedy, because that's stupid. It's a webcomic about a story that actually feels like it could be its own video game. Cucumber Quest doesn't just have comedy, it has ambition, intrigue, character relationship dynamics, and an actual plot. The story takes place in a fictional world populated by anthropomorphic cartoon rabbits, where a young boy rabbit named Cucumber is just about to achieve his dream of attending wizard school. That is, until he is informed by his family that he has inherited the role of the legendary hero, and that it's his sacred duty to stop an evil queen and the villainous Nightmare Knight from taking over the world. Joined by his much braver little sister, a cowardly royal guardsman, and a princess from one of the planet's seven kingdoms, our hero Cucumber, who would much rather be at school, reluctantly sets out to traverse across the world, recover the legendary Dream Sword, and defeat the various Disaster Masters created by the Nightmare Knight, all while pointing out the ridiculous and flawed aspects of the quest that he has been forced to take part of. It's really obvious that Cucumber Quest is a satirical parody of video game tropes and fantasy roleplay adventures, but the objective of that satire is to reveal and criticize the toxic masculinity behind these types of narratives. It's not saying that all men are inherently evil, which is never what toxic masculinity even meant to begin with, it's saying that there is a destructive mindset that can invalidate individual experiences. I mean, the whole tradition of the legendary hero is a masculine ideal that is forced upon the protagonist by a lazy oracle as well as Cucumber's negligent father, who himself is a major example of toxic masculinity given the abandonment of his parental responsibilities in favor of doing whatever he wants. It's also worth noting that although the villainous Nightmare Knight doesn't have to be the villain and could easily become a better person, he still chooses to carry himself with this aloof, emotionally detached persona because all of his power comes from people being afraid of him, and he doesn't want to give that up. In this case, toxic masculinity is equated with having power, but it's ultimately a power that is also a genuine problem for the character. And it's probably no coincidence that from the aforementioned Evil Queen as well as the eight Disaster Masters to everyone's favorite witch daughter, Perido, every villain in Cucumber Quest is more redeemable than the protagonist's own father. See, the thing about satire is that it's not just about making fun of things for the sake of a comedic punchline, it's about pointing out why those things should be made fun of in the first place. To have an actual point that the parody is making. The message of Cucumber Quest is about how individuals do not have to fully adhere to the destructive identities that society has created for them, while also being about making fun of video games. Even if those concepts don't completely resonate with you, I still highly recommend reading Cucumber Quest, for its interesting villains, comedic timing, beautiful aesthetics, character designs, and the artistic talent of its creator that is on the level of an industry professional. 
Whether it's through the official website or in print form with the published graphic novels, this entire video is why you should read my favorite webcomic of all time, GGDG's Cucumber Quest.